Yo, Facebook. That's what I said. I said Facebook. In my funny, funny book way. So, uh, Don Victor here. And if you know me by another name, you can call me another name. That's all right. Just don't call me late to dinner. But uh, what we're going to do is, uh, if, not if, cut that out of my language. Um, what I'm doing is I am go I am analyzing one master illustrator, one master painting, one master artist, and I'm going to analyze the composition. I'm going to do one a day for the next 100 days. That should land us on Christmas, baby. Christmas, if I'm correct. I know it's uh, 106 days to January 1st, if I'm correct. Uh... Yeah, Christmas is on the 25th, right? Yeah, so it should be like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I don't know. But whatever it is, we're going to do 100 of them. We're going to make it there. And if, and I want you to kick my ass to make sure that we do this. Now, let me tell you why. Why I'm going to do this. One of the goals at the Academy, one of the goals for my life before 2017 shows up is to have 80 active members in the Academy of Composition, rocking and rolling, creating major artwork, beautiful artwork, profound artwork, because that's how we do it here. Hey, Mr. Alec. Alec, listen. Yo, Alec, uh, you got to kick your brother in the face. I would say kick him in the ass, but he's probably sitting on it, so it'd be a little easier to kick him in the face. He needs to get back to the Academy. We're done with the games, B. Come on, man. I got I got a I got a gallery show for you in February. I want you and um, and uh, Don Guillermo to be in here to be rocking and rolling, get your artwork up so that people can see it, they can enjoy it, they can love it. I want to see those Capoeira paintings, man. Dang, man, why are you uh, why are you wasting time on that, B? Yes, he does. Yeah, man. He we need to hold him there, a little Capoeira on his head or something. <laughs> but uh. I love you, Brian. I want you to come back, man, because you're freaking brilliant. And uh, I'm calling you out because if you don't draw, you might as well just go kill yourself. Seriously, man. You got such amazing talent. And it's, it's, it's sitting there, man. It's sitting there. Please, please, bless the world, man. Bless the world. Bless your people. So let's move on. Um, I'm going to take a look at this one painting by Norman Rockwell. I find it fun because we do compose, and one of the, the one of the uh, principles at the Academy of Composition is uh, point point line. So we start at the finish. That's the point where we end. We then declare the beginning where we are, and then we draw back or we pull back from the end point to the beginning point. That is our principle, point, point, line, point, point, line, point, point, line. It's a rhythm, and we like to uh, uh, take that rhythm, and as in art, so in life, point, point, line. See the finish, bring it to where you are, rather than just trying to, you know, go through all the crap of the day to get to where you want to be. So, that's why I am composing, therefore meaning I'm being strategic in my vision. And if I'm correct, then what this means is that when we're done with 100, it should be Christmas Day. So that's why I'm going to flip this camera around. And uh, if all things go well, it should be there. Yeah, give me some love. Give me some hearts. This is a cool little painting. It's called a Christmas Carol. But I want to show you guys a few things. Um, and I'm not going to, like, sometimes I'm going to go real, real deep in this stuff. Sometimes it'll just be surface. You know, let's be honest. I'm going to do a hundred of these every once in a while. I'm just going to have to, you know, commit and just crank the thing out just to, just to follow through with the commitment. But, uh... 
is to show you how I see work, how I see artwork. Sometimes we're going to go in deep, sometimes it'll be a little on the surface, but you will always walk away seeing things you may have not seen before, okay? So that's, that's the goal. All right, so what do we see here? First of all, obviously we see uh, these, these three people uh, singing and, and playing instruments and the carol. But what I absolutely love is this little puppy right here. You see his little mouth? You see how dark that is on that light, uh, that light face? Now look at the guy over here who looks like uh, Abe Lincoln. Look how, uh, look at the darkness of that mouth against his skin. The contrast of that guy's mouth is very, very low. The contrast of the little boy is very, very high. Okay? So that tells my eye, first of all, that's where we need to be. The sound, the music, the song that is being sung is coming out of that boy's mouth. Ooh, whatever, I won't sing for you because I don't want to hurt you. So let me, let me love you by showing you. So what happens is when I look at this painting, my, my eye picks up the angle of this uh, clarinet coming up into the angle of his arm. It's repeated in his face, his chin, I mean, uh, yeah, his uh, cheek, his nostrils. It's coming down here. So my eye is coming down in this direction, okay, from the top here, down here. What happens then is I notice that his arm is bent, and notice that Norm so geniusly also mimics that. So your eye comes down through here, comes across the book, comes back up, and now we're going to go up along the edge of this violin, okay? Um, and then we're going to come across on this horizontal and back in. And so this is what's happening right here. You could even go up further, and then he brings you back in like this. So what is, what is that? Why is our eye moving through that image in that direction? Why is it doing that? Well, let me show you why. And if you have any guesses, put it in the comments. Let me see if you guys are picking up on this stuff. So what's happening is our eye is actually moving along the path of the song. Blowing out the, the music. is about it's not just about copying what you see actually it has nothing to do with copying what you see it has to do with composing the invisible elements that you do not see and using the visible uh, the, the things that you do see to make people feel certain things or experience certain things and so this is why Norman Rockwell in my opinion is just an absolute brilliant brilliant man he's a great storyteller uh, obviously, he has a uh, high uh, training in terms of anatomy and, and drawing and things like that. But he, as a designer and a composer, he's absolutely brilliant. And, uh, and so, yes, it is a caroling uh, moment. Um, but really, what we're really getting to experience is actually the singing, is the song, the movement coming out of this boy's mouth up through here, coming back. You can just feel the song, the singing that's going on. So on that... Uh, enjoy this video. This is number one down. If, like I said before, if I'm correct on this, 100 days from today is Christmas. Yes, Christmas. That's why we're starting with the end in the beginning. We do it intentionally. We compose. We're making life happen. We're making the magic happen. And, uh, and so on that note, peeps, I love you. See you tomorrow. Ciao.